Cat 6 versus Cat 7. What is the difference? The first consideration, when choosing Cat 6 versus Cat 7, is what outcome you are trying to achieve with your data cabling infrastructure. Secondly, what technology is that data cabling supporting? Thirdly, what are my future expansion expectations, what will my transmission and cabling requirements be in the future? Lastly, what am I able to install in my present building situation? CAT 7 is much larger, and requires additional containment or space to install. Furthermore in some instances it may not be possible. Therefore when considering CAT 6 versus CAT 7 cabling, there are a few areas to really think what is the best solution for me. How does data cabling work? Data cabling comes in various categories of cable, which have varying standards of performance. However, regardless of category, each cable is constructed in a very similar way. Each cable consists of eight individual copper cores, enclosed in a plastic outer sheath. These cores are continually twisted in pairs, throughout the cable's length within the outer sheath. This is to help avoid cross-communication between the cable's cores, during transmission. In some cables a shield foil, wraps around the center cores. These cores can vary as diameter, and as the categories increase they become tighter twisted and have varying levels of separation, to help further separate the signals as they carry faster, and denser transmissions. Signals are sent across all eight cores in both directions. Each category of cable is certified to a certain standard, to how much bandwidth that cable can accommodate. This standards are all based on a transmission distance of 90 meters, for the permanent link element of the cable, and an allowance of 5 meters patch leads at each end. Therefore, with regards to CAT6 versus CAT7 cables, there will be a difference in the cables, but they will both be certified to the same 90 meters link length. What is data cabling used for? Data cabling is used for connecting numerous types of technology. Furthermore, it is the medium that takes the signals from each of these technologies, and transmits those signals between devices. In addition via PoE, power over Ethernet, the data cabling can carry a power source as well as the signal between host switch and hardware, such as a VoIP phone or CCTV camera. Data cabling can be used to transmit for the following among many others. Telephones. Computers. Wi-Fi access points. CCTV cameras access control, building management systems, audio-visual systems, aerials and satellites. The aim of most data cabling installations is to install all the cabling to a single common termination point or a set of pre-designed common termination points. Therefore the data cabling within these areas can be used and switched for use for any type of technology. This is commonly known as structured cabling. What is CAT6? CAT6 cabling consists of two standards. The CAT6 standard was ratified in 2002, and the CAT6A standard was introduced in 2009. CAT6 cable is still seen, as the basic standard, for any new installation in the majority of standard office, and building space. It is cost effective, and has few limitations on its installation due to its core size. However in many cases, people are still choosing to install CAT5e, which is even more cost-effective and easier to install, due to a further reduced core size. The reason for this is, CAT5e and CAT6 both transmit 1 gigabit speeds, over the standard 90 meters cable distance. However, CAT6 does have a bandwidth capability, of 250 megahertz compared to 100 megahertz in CAT5e. CAT6 is also capable of transmitting 10 gigabit up to 55 meters, which is a bespoke standard distance, rather than the accepted 90 meters to 100 meters standard. Therefore when 10 gigabit is required, CAT6 is rarely specified in a new installation. Therefore when 10 gigabit is the required standard CAT6A is the cable of choice. CAT6A has a bandwidth of 500 megahertz and transmits 10 gigabit up to 90 meters by 100 meters. Therefore, this is specified into most new installations, when used as a standard design. However, CAT6A cable is larger and less flexible than CAT5E or CAT6. Therefore when installing to an existing premises, this needs to be taken into consideration. A large part of this, is the additional shielding sometimes used in CAT6A cables. Considerations for installing CAT6A cabling. Is the existing containment suitable for the cables? Can the increased bend radius of the CAT6A cables, fit and go around the dado trunking? 
but the floor boxes have enough depth for terminating the CAT 6A modules. Each installation is unique. Therefore as mentioned previously, you need to start with the outcome in mind, and then choose the most suitable and possible cable choice. What is CAT 7? The evolution from CAT 6A to CAT 7 involved adding shielding to each of the individual pairs, as well as an overall cable shield. CAT 7, due to its increased shielding, is therefore capable of transmission speeds of 600 MHz. Category 7A performs up to 1000 MHz, which shows massive increases in capabilities. In addition, it uses a different type of connector. Although CAT 6A and below patch leads can be used, which reduces its overall speed, it does require a total solution, to include new patch leads and suitable transmitting data switches. It is able to transmit 40 gigabits at 50 meters, and even 100 gigabits at 15 meters. CAT 7 isn't currently seen often in the commercial environments. It mainly is used in home automation projects, for high-speed audiovisual projects. Firstly, due to the increased size and installation problems that come with large installations of CAT 7 cabling. Secondly, in homes there isn't a large number of cables generally. However, in commercial installations, where there is a large cable requirements, the costs can be off-putting for most. Lastly the majority of commercial technology does not require any more than 10 gigabit transmission, so CAT 6A is more than suitable. CAT 6 vs CAT 7 Comparison Chart the chart compares CAT6 versus CAT7 and other cabling categories. In summary, when designing your installation, it's best to look with the end in mind and from those requirements, the most suitable cabling can be specified. We offer free surveys, and during these surveys, we will be able to discuss those requirements and offer you the best solution. For a free quotation, please visit our website, nmcabling.co.uk, or call at 01923888588.